Welcome back, everybody. We're back again. This is Sharon and my co-host today. And tomorrow, you know, we're back at it again. We can't never get no rest around here. Well, people ain't, won't stop doing what they're doing. Well, um, you know, everybody riding that Diddy train. So we decided to get back on the Diddy train, too. Today we have uh, Jaguar Wright. And she's dropping some spilling some tea about old Diddy. Some new things that's coming out about him. So we're gonna let you uh, listen to the to the video, then we'll be back. We saw her body. She didn't just die in a tub, like she was beat up. Jaguar Wright reveals how Diddy and Clive K. Wanilled Whitney Houston. Y'all, I swear, Jaguar Wright has her four on Diddy's neck, and she is not letting go anytime soon because she is determined to see the end of Diddy. This time, she is bringing some strong evidence to show that Diddy and Clive Davis allegedly teamed up to unalive Whitney Houston. She is on a mission to prove that Whitney's death was not an accident, and she is now pushing for the police to reopen the investigation. Chili, this is some crazy business, and Jaguar is not here to play. I swear, Jaguar is putting her back into exposing every last detail about Diddy and Chili. At this point, she probably has enough tea and dirt on Diddy to write an entire book. And the crazy part of it is that Diddy, as well as other people in the entertainment industry, have spent years trying to sabotage Jaguar and make it seem like she's making things up for clout because she's jealous of them. They've called her jealous, mean-spirited, blah blah blah, but nobody has ever filed a lawsuit against her or taken other legal steps against her. I mean, sure there were threats of lawsuits but nobody ever went through with them and that was the first sign that Jaguar was onto something that the rest of us didn't know about but then it all blew up in their faces because everything Jaguar said started coming true especially for Diddy. Last year Jaguar spoke about how weird it was that everybody at Uptown Records had either passed away or almost passed away except Diddy. Uptown Records started with five people. Andre Harrell, I'll be sure, Heavy D, and Puffy, and Kim was the longest working employee because she was there from the very beginning. She was Andre's personal assistant. Mm -hmm. Kim is dead. Heavy D is dead. Mm -hmm. Andre Morell is dead. The only two left. Puffy and Al, and Al almost died. Isn't that interesting? She also pointed out how weird it was that they all passed away under some very suspicious circumstances. Heavy D was found dead, face down, and he heart attack. Andre Harrell, heart attack. Kim died from pneumonia, but there's the first coroner's report that said that she died. It, it was ruled a homicide, and they found toxins in her body to prove that she had been poisoned. You know, they, they have poisons that create heart attacks and pneumonia-like symptoms. She then talked about how interesting it was that they were all in the process of exposing Diddy when they suddenly passed. You want to know what they all had in common, though? The survivors and the, and, and the late... Well, the old Jaguar boy, she been in the news, boy. She had a foot on Diddy's neck. She's out, she's out to get this man. Well, really, she's the only one got enough strength or enough um, courage to talk about it. That's true. Well, she had all right, better stay in the house. Yeah, she's, she's, she's walking on eggshells. That's true. she got the heat for Diddy, and he is going down. So did he, did he uh, take you out and mess with him too much? See, Andre Harrell was president of Town Records, hmm. and D was the intern. Intern. So isn't it mighty funny that Harrell died, and D had no money, but he started a record later. Three years later, D was the intern. He was an uh, intern, didn't know nothing, yeah, uh, trying to learn something. And all of a sudden, Andre's out, did it then. Yeah. yeah, all of a sudden, Andre Harrell's dead. Mm. Then you got um, 
Heavy D, he was right about to write a book. Yeah. He's dead. And Kim Porter, she was about to write a book. Yeah. Then, you know, everything is him and he had beef with Sugar Guy and Tupac. And Tupac, dead. Mm -hmm. uh, Biggie did. Biggie, Biggie did, because Biggie was about to leave him. Yeah. So, Puffy acting like he's the the mafia of the music industry. Never did he? Or, no, he's more like Clyde, Clyde Davis. Clyde, was Clive? Yeah, Clyde. Clyde. Yeah, Clive Davis hit man. See? He's boy toy. The thing is, Andre Harrell used to mess around with Clive. Mm. I guess he became old booty. And he wanted new booty. Pump that. Well, they, they just said they, they just threw threesome together. Clyde, Diddy, and Andre. That's why, you know, Diddy uh, finally cut old, old uh, Andre out. That's true. And he became the new booty. Mm, mm -mm. But my thing is, was it uh, Clyde gave him Diddy? STD? Or was it? Did he get it from his other sexual escapade? Who knows? Well, the word on the street is he gave it to Usher. Yeah. Now let's play some more. Of Uptown Records, they were all writing tell all books. Mm -hmm. Andre was writing a book right before he died. Heavy D was working on a book before he died. Kim Porter was working on a book before she died. And I'll be sure was working on the documentary of his life. And then he goes to sleep. She also revealed that Diddy and Pastor T.D. Jakes were involved in some no. weird kind of gay relationship. No, Why no, do you no. think T.D. Jakes was at Puff Daddy's birthday party? If Bishop Jakes was at a Diddy party, there could only be two reasons. Money or that's all that happens at Diddy parties. Wow. Oh, that's it. Oh. Wow. Oh, we don't know which one old TD Jakes is doing. Wow. I said, well, I forgot about I'll be sure. He's in a coma again. Mm -hmm. well, he got some dirt on Diddy. Don't What? Is he back in a coma? Yeah, he's back in the hospital again. But is he in a coma? I believe so. I'm not 100% sure, so I'm going to say allegedly. I think about him, he was going to do a documentary on, documentary on himself. Yeah. Not on Diddy, but on himself. Not sure, I guess. Oh, Dona T thought he's going to air some stuff out about. Mm. Then after he came out of that coma, he retracted everything he said about Diddy. Oh, did he? Yeah, yes, he did. Because he was telling Kim Porter to go to the FBI. What? Yeah. Yeah, after that, he magically ended up in a coma. Can't make this up. Um, first of all, why did they reveal what they were doing? That's, that's a, who knows? I can't answer that for you. Then why, just write the book and let the book come out. Yeah, write the book and have a, have a nice day. And you go, you go take a long vacation somewhere. But don't threaten them by writing a book or, you know, Kathy threatened them with a book. Yeah, I'm surprised she made it out of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there wasn't a book with Diddy now. Don't let nobody know what you're doing. Wait till you're done with the book. Then let everybody know. Then when the book come out, everybody going to know. Don't, don't broadcast it or don't threaten him with it or don't hold it over his head. But see, it don't work out well for you. You didn't get the, fit, the book finished. You should have got the book finished first. Then yeah, start saying something. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't let him get started. They will, they will go work on a book. That's true. And well, another thing is on um, 50 Cent, he goes to do a documentary about mm. talking tea. Mm. I wonder how long he going to stay alive. Oh, Finny better watch his back. Yeah. Well, you know, maybe, maybe, I don't know. 
you might want to just do what you're going to do and then let your bitch lie in the street. That's true. Let's play some more of video. Money. She also made comments about how Did was a mean guy who often put hands on other people, especially women, including the women he had dated. She talked about how he would hurt his girlfriends and baby mamas, how he put his hands on them and left them with bruises and scars on their bodies. Of course, Diddy claimed that she was making things up because he had a booming career and she didn't blah blah blah. And at the time, people kind of believed him because the allegations that she made were just too wild and crazy to think that they could even be true. I mean, Diddy literally refers to himself as brother love and does all that stuff mm. about spreading love and positivity. Well, Cassie's lawsuit quickly well, changed. Spread herself, no, right? Spreading, but they love. And not positivity. I, I mean, I I I, I want to go back for a minute about this Diddy J. What's going on with this man? That's a good question. Because like I said, he's either getting money from Diddy or he's on the down low. I mean, ha has he gotten so big where he thinks he can do whatever he want to do? I guess so. Who knows? I mean, how are you going to tell? Well, he, he basically right now, he don't tell people how to live. He be telling people how to get money and big houses and 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 cars and vacation homes. That's that's most all he talk about. Pretty much. He don't he don't really talk about living right no more. Oh, oh TD is all about the dollar. Oh, big TD. Mm -hmm. Oh, could he be? Could he be on the download? Uh, that's allegedly, so we don't know. But you know, she said that we didn't. I know. She said, that don't, 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 don't come for me. You heard her say that about T.D. Jake. She said, it's either sex or money. That's true. And what T.D. Jake need his money for? No. The devil likes money in all forms. It don't matter where you get it from. I mean, he got money. He got big houses, fine cars, and big church. I mean, he don't need no money. He might be got some big backdoor action. Yeah. Yeah, I said it. Let's play some more everything and we started seeing the dark side of Diddy that he had managed to hide for about 30 years. The things she revealed in the lawsuit were plain horrifying and Diddy's public image has taken a big hit since then. She revealed some truly horrifying stuff like the part where she said that Diddy essayed Ms. Ventura in her own home after she tried to leave him often punched, beat, kicked and stomped on Ms. Ventura resulting in bruises, burst lips, black eyes and bleeding forced Ms. Ventura to engage in intimate acts with male SWs while getting off on it and filming the encounters, demanded that Ms. Ventura to carry his firearm in her purse just to make her uncomfortable and demonstrate how dangerous he is, and introduced Ms. Ventura to a lifestyle of excessive alcohol and substance abuse and required her to procure illicit prescriptions to satisfy his own addictions. The lawsuit also confirmed a lot of things that Jaguar has been telling us about Diddy and the things he's been doing in secret, and girl, we owe Jaguar a big apology because she was telling the truth all along, and it's now clear that the reason Didi. Uh, uh, big dog on the table, that. That's the table of a dog. <laughs> now, uh, he, uh, he wasn't getting no men just for Cassie. Well, no, he's getting them for himself. He was too. participating in those acts, too. And yeah, yeah, watching some of that. Same kind of drugs in this stuff, too. That's true. Make it make sense, people. I'll play some more how Diddy allegedly helped Clive get away with her murder. So y'all probably know that Whitney was Clive's artist. Clive was something of a mentor to her because he signed her and helped her grow her career over the years. But then there were rumors that things were starting to sour between them and that they were about to have a falling out because Whitney was trying to get free from his control because he allegedly held her under a strict control. But the rumors are saying that Clive was not about to let her go so easily because she was making him a lot of money. I mean, she was the Whitney Houston, who remains one of the greatest singers of all time, and she was very profitable. So rumor has it that Clive was determined to have her all to himself, and if he couldn't have her, then nobody could. So he allegedly plotted to have her taken out. The interesting thing about this is that in the days leading up to her death, there were reports of her acting erratic after she met with Clive. According to reports, she had gone to visit Clive while he was preparing for his annual pre-Grammys party. And even though we don't know what happened between those two after 
she left Clive. Media reported that she appeared disheveled and disoriented, with what looked like sweat running down her face and blood dripping down her leg. Two days after this, she was found unconscious in the bathtub, and she passed away. The crazy part about this is that Clive refused to cancel his party, and this got him the side eye from everyone. The most he did was give a speech at the party saying, by now you have all learned of the unspeakably tragic news of our beloved Whitney's passing. I don't have to mask my emotions in front of a room full of so many dear friends. I am personally devastated by the loss of someone who has meant so much to me for so many years. Whitney. So you know she passed away, but she downstairs party. She didn't care. She was devastated by her death, but we didn't stop the party. Sure Everybody did. was partying and hiding, having a good time. We didn't stop that. Whitney laying upstairs dead. She wasn't she supposed to be the, the host, I mean, uh, the star attraction of the party? I believe so. But, you know, and it's madly odd that her daughter passed away the same way. Daughter died the same way her mama did. Now, how, can you, how can you make that make sense? I mean, uh, just, just how, what's the odds of that happening? And the thing is, well, these women, when you date a guy like Diddy, you know he's no good. He's going to do everything he can to you. You're going to sacrifice your morals and value for some money. I mean, it's sad it happened to her, but like I said, when you keep going back, it sounds like your lines are blurred. It sounds like you're a willing participant until you got tired of it. Well, the main reason why people go to Hollywood is to make it. They want to be known. They want they want all the trimmings that goes along with being a, a star and famous. That's what they go to Hollywood for. And they go to make connections and they go to hook up with people they think can help them advance. And that's what they do. And you know, they just got hold to the wrong thing. They got hold uh, hold to a black mama, and and it bit them. That's true. At, at a certain time, you guys like said, "Do I want fame this bad? I'm really let any and everything happen to me." Yeah, some people do. And then, Cass's career didn't ever went nowhere. Been with Diddy all the years, his career ain't went nowhere. No, but he's getting everything she wanted. Oh, oh, someone said, uh, one person said he bought out all the clothes that uh, this fashion runway they went through. They, he bought everything for her. That's true, bro. And he's giving us jewelry, vacations, homes, cars. Uh, like I said, one time, at one point, she was getting $500,000 a month from Diddy. Now, why did you save that money? You got to do a nice little house. But did it already bought her place? Okay, you know, you know, one of yours is still on Diddy's name. I don't know. I, I guess, I guess you thought getting slapped around a little bit was uh, was worth what he was giving her. I guess I don't know. And then like I said, allegedly, he cut her income down to two hundred and fifty thousand a month. That's still good. Yeah, that's still good. <laughs> How many people you know make that kind of money a month? But I guess he wanted. I guess when he met the uh, young Miami, he had to reduce her salary. Why would you want to be a paid, high value paid prostitute, a sex dumping ground? Well. Well, well, well. Sometimes you got you got you can like money, but you can't love money. Well, people do. People love money, and they will do anything they can to get it. Like you said, the, the root of all evil is the love of money. I mean, uh, I like money too, but I'm not gonna sell my soul for it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give give myself away for it. Because I know money is only a, a it's it's a temporary thing. It don't last forever. 
That's true. And and why would I want to sell my soul, my integrity, my values? Why? Why? I mean, you know, I, I, I guess like I said, everybody want to be a star. That's why they go to. That's why they go to uh, Hollywood. And I, I understand that celebrities and people like him use fear, but I'm calling the police. Tell <laughs> me. Yeah, you said, or I kill someone in your family. What? That's, what you say? That's what that's what you ain't gonna use that fear that I'm gonna kill somebody oh. in your family. I thought you said you will you no, be No. Oh you're not gonna use that fear tactic on me because I'm I'm tell. Mm. Well huh. well some some type of fear and intimidation work. That's why the mafia and, and all that stuff can get away with this stuff. Right, fear and intimidation. But you gotta understand. If you stay with them, you could be gone. If you leave them, you could be gone. I guess you figure if you stay, you don't get to do so much. And they beat you down like a dog in the street. The first time should have been the last time. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, but who knows? All of them might be doing that out there. That's true. You never know. I'll play some more. So full of life, Whitney was a beautiful person and a talent beyond compare. Well, he certainly wasn't devastated enough to cancel the party, but okay. Even worse, the party was held in the same hotel where Whitney died and her body hadn't been moved yet. Say what you want, but there's something super creepy about having a glamorous party when your friend's body is lying in a hotel room above you. Even reporters at CBS News found this weird, and they wrote, Houston's body remained in the hotel room hours after emergency responders pronounced her dead. Downstairs, Davis's extravagant party went on Esplanade as investigators roamed the hotel lobby and women wearing designer ball gowns and men dressed in tuxedos shuffled by towards the red carpet. Then there's this super disturbing report from a private investigator that revealed that Whitney had some defense wounds on her body. Jaguar Wright has also backed this up, insisting that Whitney didn't die in a bath tube like we were told. Her, she was beaten with a bath tube. They saw her body. She didn't just die in a tub like she was beaten. So how does Diddy tie into this? Well, y'all know how he was Clive's boy toy, and if Clive told him to cover a murder, y'all best believe that he's going to keep his mouth shut. There's also the fact that he was hospitalized with a migraine after the party, and his team claimed that it was because he had partied too hard. Uh, is this the same Diddy who has been throwing insane parties since the 90s? Yeah, the math ain't mathing, but according to an insider, he was allegedly trying to create an alibi. The insider revealed that Diddy was allegedly trying to prove that he was too sick to have physically fought Whitney and put his hands on her like the report stated. He was allegedly trying to cover his tracks in case a police investigation was launched, and that's just crazy. Now, I'm not saying that Diddy unalived Whitney himself, because what the rumors... Well, she ain't saying it, but I'm saying it. Mm. You, you and Jaguar said that? Yeah, me and Jaguar said he did it. Dirty Dolphin did it. Him did and Clyde um, was the master. If they didn't do it themselves, they were the mastermind. Yeah. And I'm surprised Jaguar telling all this information. How is she still alive and those lawsuits found against her? She had got proof of her. That's true. If she did it, they were they'd been threats of of a lawsuit, but nobody never followed through. That's true. I don't think they really want her to start talking. Yeah, because they they try to sue her and then come after her. She, she really going to tell more information. She going to get that book out. Yes, she is. So, no. so I mean, um, this is this is unreal. This is under. I mean, if if you only knew the dark and ugly. Stuff that goes on in the world, you be shocked. Now, the good book once said, or well, still says, that Satan is the minister of music. Yeah. Yeah, he is. And uh, that he knows how to trap people. He knows how to get them, suck people in and get them trapped. He dangled money and jewelry and fame and houses and cars and clothes and women and men. He 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 he, he enticed you with all those things. 
then once you get all those riches and stuff, it's hard to let that go. Yeah. He know he got you. Once he, once he uh, trapped you with those things, he know he got you. He know you'll do anything to keep it. That's very true. A monster in the maker. Oh, dirty demon did it. Well, he's not in the making. He's already well, made. Yeah, he's already made. I think he's the apprentice of Satan on a high level. He, I, I know he sold his soul to the devil. Ain't no one gonna tell me he And old Clive. Yeah. Clive might be the new devil and Diddy is a prince. Wow. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. See, uh, Clive the devil and Diddy the Antichrist. That's what that is. Yeah. I, I can plead it. I can 100% believe it. Because he's doing too much and getting away with it. Yeah, that's true. Somebody's protecting him. Yep. I don't know who, but somebody's protecting him. Now, let's play some more. And or he could be Clyde Davis Hellhound. Well, could be. Now, let's play some more. What they're saying is that he tried to get an alibi just in case. S y'all come to your own conclusions. Fans left shocking comments saying, Clive had Brandy and Monica sing the tribute song, It All Belongs to Me for Whitney Houston. You can see in the video and in the lyrics that Clive was finished with Whitney. He said, it all belongs to me, which is why he took her daughter out too. Yes, I said Clive Davis needs to be charged with Whitney Houston's murder, and Clive Davis needs to be investigated as well. Sean should be incarcerated now. But do you guys believe these allegations? Allegations, or do you think that Jaguar is now making things up? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I want her to believe she is telling the truth. Yeah, she's telling the truth. She ain't making nothing up. She took Maury's lie detector test and said, no deception indicated. <laughs> she, 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 ain't, she ain't making that up. No, everybody didn't believe her for all the it, 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 Maybe if people had believed her all those years ago, some people that dead may not be dead now. That's true. Well, people, let us know what you think. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I, I be, I be interested in knowing what you think about uh, Diddy and Clyde taking Whitney out and her daughter, and about T D Jakes. That's why. That's what I want to know. I mean, and you know, don't don't start talking about you hate no T D J. I ain't hate no Anybody nobody. I'm telling you what this woman said out of my own mouth. You heard her. She said it. Until she said that, I that that thought never crossed my mind. That's true. So he's a inter international sex trafficker. So you let let us know. Give us a thumbs up and share this with somebody and. If you like what we're doing, why don't you subscribe? Then hit that little notification button so you know when we drop another video. We we usually drop about two or three a week. No, we do more than that. We've been doing three, four, five sometimes. Oh yeah. Yeah. I can't keep up with it no more. We doing so many. I can't keep up with it. I thought it was. I thought it was just about two or three. No, we we did um twenty one videos last month. Oh what? Well, hey, well, well. Wow. <laughs> But so, if, if 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 you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up and then pass it on. Cause it don't cost you nothing. Give us a thumbs up now. Come on. That's true. And you know, and and, and um, I don't censor my uh, comments. I I give everybody the freedom to say what they want to say. Um, uh, cause you know, I ask for this. I ask for your comments. So I'm not gonna. Have you send me comments then bash you? I'll try to understand. I'll try to um, make you understand what I'm saying. If you if you were confused about what I'm saying and why I'm saying this or why I'm saying that, but I, but I I give everybody the right to say say whatever you want to say. I don't care. Well, until next time, people. You want your favorite ending? Huh? Be. Be blessed. <laughs> yeah, be blessed, people. We'll see ya. Until next time, people.